Do you ever look at a piece of scripture and to your eyes you see something? For a little while now, I have seen something in scripture, and on March 20, 21st, while talking to the Lord, I saw something else. In fact, it might be that the Lord brought something else to my understanding. John 20, verses 11 through 15. But Mary stood at the sepulchre without weeping. Now she was weeping, she stooped down and looked into the sepulchre. And she saw two angels in white sitting, one at the head and one at the feet, where the body of Jesus had been laid. They say to her, Woman, why weepest thou? She saith to them, Because they have taken away my Lord, and I know not where they have laid him. When she had thus said, she turned herself back and saw Jesus standing, and she knew not that it was Jesus. Jesus saith to her, Woman, why weepest thou? Whom seekest thou? She, thinking that it was the gardener, saith to him, Sir, if thou hast taken him hence, tell me where thou hast laid him, and I will take him away. Gardener. Don't you think it interesting that Jesus would appear like a gardener to Mary? Mary also didn't recognize him at first. Gardener. Don't you think it interesting that Jesus would appear like a gardener to Mary? It's as if he is saying, I am the one who created the heaven and the earth. Mary Magdalene might be representative of Israel, who is blinded until Jesus re reveals himself to them. I wonder if Mary Magdalene saw Jesus' scars when he showed himself to her. He showed his scars to Thomas. John 20, verses 26 to 28. And after eight days, again his disciples were within, and Thomas with them. Jesus cometh, the doors being shut, and stood in the midst and said, Peace be to you. Then he said to Thomas, Put in thy finger hither, and see my hands, and bring hither the hand, and put it into my side, and be not faithless, but believing. Thomas answered and said to him, My Lord and my God. Zechariah 12, verse 10, And I will pour out upon the house of David and upon the inhabitants of Jerusalem the spirit of grace and of prayers, and they shall look upon me whom they have pierced. And they shall mourn for him as one mourneth for an only son, and they shall grieve over him as the manner is to grieve for the death of the firstborn. Revelation 1, verse 7. Behold, he cometh with the clouds, and every eye shall see him, and they also that pierced him. And all the tribes of the earth shall be with themselves because of him. Even so. Amen. Since April 2019, I have heard, Tell them I am coming soon, there will be a great shaking. I have also heard famine. I also heard wars coming. Better prepare prophesy. In a dream I had, I heard, till the end of book six. When I went to wonder at what book six was, I heard Revelation six. Then I saw the lettering Rev six. Please take all this to the Lord in prayer. Much love.